Jokes Vlog. Oh, getting the most out of my Disney Plus subscription. I finally got around to watching Avengers Age of Ultron. And you know what surprises me? Everybody says, oh, well, this is the weakest Avengers movie. The other ones are so amazing. This is the best Avengers movie. And that's not saying a lot because most of them are really bad. But by a hair, this is the best Avengers movie. So our film starts off with a rather non-Avengers fight against Hydra. Isn't that really more of a Captain America thing? He's going after uh, Hydra remnants and they are putting up a decent battle. You know, they're giving it their all with their, their tanks that are totally inadequate against superheroes. And you're thinking, okay, how much longer is this gonna go on? Turns out Hydra has a couple aces up their sleeve. The twins, they've got um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Quicksilver, by the way, does not have a character in this movie. I mean, this is, hey, I'm here and now I'm not. I have no personality. I have a horrific blue trail and I don't move that fast. You wanna see speed done right in a fight? The, the damn Superman movie with Henry Cavill, when he's fighting like uh, the, ba the German babe in Zod, that looked like speed to me. You want to see Quicksilver done a hell of a lot better? The Fox's X-Men movies. I like how this sort of wraps up. Uh, you know, they take out all these guys, the twins get away, but then we have an after party for the Avengers. And this is probably the best scene of all of the Avengers films, if I'm being completely honest. You get to see what the superheroes are like on their downtime. I like how War Machine shows up and he doesn't have great stories to tell in comparison to the Avengers team. You know, the A team. So he's like, yeah, that, this story kills at a party, but everybody else is just kind of like, oh, that's it? I do cooler stuff than that every day. I love that. I love seeing how all of them interacted. I actually liked the Neoner test of strength. Everybody's trying to pick it up. Captain America gets on it. You can see some worry in Thor because it looked like it looked like he might have he, 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 uh, not lifted it, but jostled it. And he's like, nope, didn't move an inch. Yep. I know you're saying that the payoff for that gag is later Captain America is deemed worthy and able to use it. But I think there's actually a payoff within this movie in a way that is smarter than most of these Avengers films get. So let's get on with the film some more. Now that they have captured the scepter that Loki had, they find out, well, they actually find out later that there's Infinity Stone in there. You know, because all the MacGuffins have some kind of other name for them and all this other shit. And it just gets really quite confusing on these movies. You have to know all your homework assignments to go into the next Avengers. Hell, next time you're going to have to be caught up on a number of TV shows in order to enjoy the Avengers movie. But, uh people that way. I'm going this way now. That's how I roll, baby. Tony Stark thinks it's a good idea to build robot to kind of do Avengers work for him. Immediately at the party, this Ultron AI takes over some bodies, uh, basically Iron Man suits, fights Jarvis briefly, and goes after the Avengers. I was hoping and actually expecting there to be some kind of like downtime here where maybe he, he goes on a battle with them and then realizes he can do this better himself and turns bad, but it is just from the word jump, Ultron's a bad guy. And he's fighting it out with all the, all the Avengers. And I don't want to make a mistake here, but this doctor, I forget, did they call her Holly? Holy smokes, what a babe. So huge redemption arc for me in the movie just having like an ultra vixen. Just out of nowhere, she's the, sk the skin graft doctor. She'll get kidnapped by Ultron so that he can uh, use her to build another clone body type thing. It seemed like his body situation was working pretty good for him. He had more robots making more parts for him in the Sokovia where they had the, the battle at the beginning. And then really, I don't know what the hell happens, but the movie gets derailed hard by both the villain and the villain scheme. Too much of this movie feels like an Iron Man movie. 
Too much of it feels like a Captain America movie. The other Avengers have shit all to do. They'll show up to do a fight. Are they intricate to the plot? No. So I don't really see how this is an Avengers issue. Uh, just as much as Iron Man is a big part of Civil War, this could have been Iron Man 4 with Captain America. And I say that in part because this movie does not explain why, why Tony Stark is back as Iron Man. He hung everything up in Iron Man 3. Am I missing something here? I didn't see Thor the Dark World. How, how much of that depends on Thor the Dark World? Did that movie show him coming back as Iron Man? Because here he's full Iron Man. So every vehicle that shows up is an Audi. They have a fight. They're gonna have to go pick people up. They're driving around in an A3 Cabriolet. Captain America gets pushed off of a truck, falls into an Audi TTS windshield. I know because I drive one. And yeah, the action scenes are not so awful. I, I mostly like the downtime with the characters, getting to know some of them that we don't have standalone movies for. I guess we see enough of Black Widow here. I don't have any inclination to watch her movie. I, I learn enough about Hawkeye here. No inclination to watch his series. The, the villain's plan is like wipe out humanity. He's got the twins working with them, but they flip out when they realize he's not just going to destroy the Avengers who killed their parents or blamed for it Tony Stark dropped a bomb in their house. I, how dense are they? You thought this guy was going to stop at just taking out the Avengers? Jesus. Too much of the, uh, the MCU relies on characters being stupid and the audience being distracted. Put that on a t-shirt. You end up with a situation here where the twins now go and join the Avengers. The android body Ultron was making is going to be called Vision. They, they refer to a Vision. They don't say his name's Vision in this movie, but hereafter they will call him Vision. And what does Vision do to prove himself? to the crowd, casually picks up Mjolnir and hands it to Thor. Proving himself worthy. That means we can trust him. I actually thought that was brilliant. I don't think most people really picked up on that. They just thought, oh hey, cool, he can pick it up. That, that's all the stupid audience of the MCU really thought of it. But the conflict goes down where it's like, the plan is to lift up half of the city and what, I don't understand. He had a vision of a, of a comet hitting the Earth or a meteor hitting the Earth, wiping out all the people. So was this chunk of the city supposed to be the meteor? You lift it up into the atmosphere or the stratosphere or beyond and then crash it to Earth? Was that the plan? Uh, but, you know, half this city gets messed up. Quicksilver gets killed. Not that anyone's going to miss him. Scarlet Witch helps out a little bit though her powers are a bit OP. And you gotta really enjoy how they did nothing to explain these, these characters to the audience. It was just, he's fast and she's weird. Where do their powers stem from? X-Men. We gonna bring that up in this movie? No. I guess that's why you have a better Quicksilver showing up for her TV show. So I'm told, I'm not watching it. All in all, they managed to take out all the, the Ultron androids who, they should have had some left behind in other parts of the world scattered about. Never would have caught them all. But instead they're all in the conflict. Like, I thought Ultron was supposed to be smart. So, yeah, like I said, everything hinges on stupidity. And then the Avengers get a little separated. Hulk goes missing. We know that he's gonna be in uh, Thor Ragnarok. Thor kind of sets off. Everybody had these different visions thanks to the witch. And so they kind of don't want to be Avengers for the moment. I mean, there's just things that don't make a whole ton of sense. It's just kind of to move things along. Now we're going to bring in some new people. Wait to see them next movie. Oh yeah, there's Falcon. Everybody loves Falcon, right? No, no, they shouldn't. Like I said, this is actually one of the better Avengers films. I give it two and a half out of four stars. You just watched a video from my son. He's about 40 and lives in my basement, ladies. So subscriber and notify the bell for ringing. 
Okay, I said what you wanted me to say. Now do the goddamn dishes!